Hello everyone, I am Dr. A. Muriyasin, Associate Professor, Biomedical Engineering Department from KSR College of Engineering. In this video, we discuss what are the IoT enabling technologies. So these are the five major uh, technologies which are involved in Internet of Things. First one is the wireless sensor network, cloud computing, big data analytics, communication protocol and finally embedded systems. First one, wireless net sensor network. This wireless sensor network is used to connect the sensors which are located in different places in wireless. That means it, it is will be connected as a nodes. Uh, group of uh, sensors are called as node. The, each node will be connected through any wireless communication network. The data uh, from the uh, all the nodes are connected by the coordinator through the gateway so for examples of uh, wireless sensor networks are it is used for indoor air quality system then weather monitoring soil moisture monitoring system and it is also used for surveillance of any system and it can uh, also be uh, helpful in health monitoring system also so in uh, wireless sensor network and the zigbee is the communication protocol mostly preferred uh, for data transfer from node to node it can uh, cover up to 100 meters with a rate of 250 kilobytes per second so next technology is the cloud computing so we have our uh, cloud computing is the uh, data can store over the internet uh, so it can use the making use the virtual computer to the data from the sensors or uh, IoT that can be stored in a virtual computer that can be accessed from anywhere. That will be the uh, concept of cloud computing and uh, types of cloud computing as a infrastructure cloud computing, platform as a service and software as a service. There are some different types of cloud computing services available for IoT. So IoT will be used for uh, in IoT, cloud computing is used for automatic upgrades and backup of uh, previous data for easy recovery. And then you can uh, <coughs> you can easily integrate the different data types together. Then you can easily access from mobile or uh, your laptop from anywhere. And uh, the next technology is the big data analytics. As IoT is uh, is the Internet of Things, it collects the so various data throughout the uh, 24 crash 7 throughout the year or throughout the day. It collects the data. All the data are stored in uh, cloud. Here, the the data are stored in the cloud. That can be in uh, there are a number of data in large volume that can be analyzed by using the big data analytics so in the data in big data analytics involves the data cleansing data munching and data processing and is also used to uh, used for data visualization also so that big data analytics as a characteristics are three types variety and volume and velocity variety means it's a structured data analytics or unstructured data analytics or it may be semi structured data analytics you can also uh, do the analysis for text data audio data or video data the next uh, uh, categorization is the volume depends upon the size of the uh, data it will be terabytes or records or it may be there in forms of files or tables or it can be used as uh, velocity in case of it will be the batch by batch or real time or uh, live stream this is the variety uh, characteristics of big data so here the big data are used in e-commerce websites and bank into uh, it's also used in social networks the final <coughs> the next communication protocol communication protocol in iot is the backbone of the, uh, the iot system will be helpful for transferring the data from sensors to actuators through the internet then it's also used to connect uh, uh, connect the sensors to the controller then the controller will give the signal to the actuator through the this communication protocol it may be any protocol i2c sp or zigbee 
or any Bluetooth or any Wi-Fi. There are a lot of communication protocols available in the for IoT. Finally, the technology will be the embedded system. This will be our the hardware and software part together. Uh, microcontroller based uh, software driven reliable real time control system uh, which is used to perform a specific task is called as embedded system that means uh, if for example you have a washing machine the washing machine used to wash the clothes that is a specific task that the controller or a, a system uh, will be designed for a specific task that will be comes under the embedded systems for examples we have digital cameras dvd players micro oven uh, then industrial robots so these are the some examples of embedded systems so these are the five major technologies available uh, in internet of things thank you